How are you all going out there? Jarek Backer, naturopath from New Zealand, author of Candida Crusher, and formulator of the Canzida, that's with an X, Canzida Dietary Supplements. I'm going to do another case now, case number six. So this is a case about a guy called Aaron. It's not his real name, of course, but it's a real case. Aaron from America. And Aaron is 18 years of age. He's a nice young man. I've had him on Skype a few times now. So I'm just going to read some bits and pieces out of my book and then sort of give some narration along with this case to explain a bit more about it. Aaron's case is not uncommon. I've seen lots of cases like this before. And you may relate to it or may have a son like it or, you know, a cousin like it or a relation or friend just like Aaron. The most distressing thing for me to see is this young man who has developed a chronic illness as a result of the antibiotics prescribed for three years continually for facial acne. His mother took him to a doctor when he was just 15 years of age because he had a severe case of acne vulgaris. The doctor recommended low-dose tetracycline, an antibiotic, and initially Aaron noticed an improvement, and his mother was happy, but after 12 months the acne did not clear up. So the doctor just increased the dosage. Not once was Aaron instructed any facial hygiene protocols, lifestyle or dietary changes. He was just recommended to take the antibiotics. After having been on these drugs for three years, his father brought him to see me because his mother does not believe in natural medicine. He just believes in the doctor. Aaron is feeling very terrible at this stage, had a lot of tummy problems, so Dad brought him in to see me. After we ran some tests, we discovered that his liver enzymes were significantly elevated as a result of the antibiotics. These drugs were basically poisoning his liver. The doctor never tested his liver enzymes, just kept him on the drugs. Besides, Aaron had developed a large, a rather severe case of jock itch and athlete's foot. The doctor had prescribed an antifungal cream for the jock itch and ignored the athlete's foot. But most incredibly, he maintained Aaron on the antibiotics, stating that the jock itch had athlete's foot were, had, were very unlikely to be related to the antibiotic. My initial recommendation was for Aaron to throw the drugs in the garbage can and began instructing him to stop all the soda drinks he was consuming and concentrate on a fresh food diet. We began him on a regime of antioxidants and an intensive natural facial cleansing regime. It took six months before we got rid of his chronic yeast infection, but we eventually got rid of it. In Aaron's case, the, the initiating cause, of course, was the antibiotics, and the maintaining cause was the soda pop and the poor crappy diet. So what do you think of that case? I saw a young man yesterday also, but he was 16, also a lot of facial acne. Now, this mother did believe in natural medicine, so she brought uh, this guy in to see me. A very nice young man, and uh, a lot of acne around the face here and also on the back. Now, what's his favorite food? Potato chips. He's eating potato chips every day when he comes home, you know, from school. Mother and father are separated. Father gives him soda pop and, uh, and crap foods, and uh, mother has a, a pantry full of potato chips. So we had a good long talk about the diet. And I know that his father is a fan of, of uh, conventional medicine. So I've said to the mum, please keep this boy away from antibiotics and please keep him away from drugs like Accutane uh, or other, other known also as isotretinoin, which is a synthetic or a retinoid, a vitamin A. This drug stuffs people up. It wrecks people's digestive systems. It makes them very, very sick indeed. I hate kids taking drugs. I hate it. I can't stand it. None of my four children were ever introduced to any vaccines or antibiotics. I'm completely against these drugs. What you do with your kids is your call. But I'm pleased to say that my four children have grown up to be very strong, healthy people. They've never had any illnesses at all. When my child had an ear infection, I got him off cow's milk. We treated him with homeopathy, natural medicines. He cleared up within a week. So I'm no fan of antibiotics. I feel that antibiotics have a place in, a, in an absolute minority of cases of life-threatening uh, diseases that are of bacterial origin. In, in cases of meningitis, you know, you're crazy not to give them. Even if you don't know if it's bacterial or viral meningitis, you just give these damn antibiotics. You know, but in, in cases of a little cut finger, uh, or, or a child steps on a thumbtack, or a child has acne, these damn doctors put kids on drugs for two or three weeks. It's crazy. I've got absolutely no interest in this kind of treatment at all. Think about the word antibiosis. It's anti-life, okay? Why would you give anti-life treatment for someone that you want to promote their health, you know? It's just insanity, right? The truth is stranger than the fiction, right? And common sense isn't very common in medicine. If the doctors could only understand that these kids need to change their lifestyle, eat better kind of foods, 
And also there are natural medicines that have a significant impact on improving acne, like giving 30 milligrams of zinc twice per day, recommending some B vitamins. We can also use different creams like azelaic acid cream. We can use the tea tree oil preparations. You know, there are many natural, nice essential oils that can be used on the face. But to resort to antibiotics to me is madness because as soon as you compromise and wreck that gut, you're opening the gate for yeast infections and bacterial problems. And you can set that person up for life for being sick for many, many years by starting them on this wicked course of antibiotics. Anyway, I'm going to get off my um, pulpit. I'm going to stop complaining now. Um, but I think you get the point. I'm not a fan of antibiotics. There is a better way. So that's case number six. That's Aaron with the antibiotics and the acne. Thanks for tuning in.